Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem fourteen in chapter twenty four. Chapter twenty four is about dial electrics, capacitors, and electric energy storage. So there you can see we need to use the Gaussian's law to determine to prove that E equal to zero, the electric field is equal to zero inside the inner conductor of a cylindrical capacitor, right? So first one we can see the keyword conductor. It tells us the charge is uniformly distributed at the surface. Agree? Yes. So now you can see in first cases R smaller than R B. So that means we can draw a Gaussian surface. Look like this one. Mm -hmm. And then we write down the Gaussian's law. That is the E do the integral with e, the surface, right? With the Gaussian surface equal to enclosed charge over epsilon naught. Agree. So in this case, we can write it as E times the Gaussian surface 2 pi r times d, right? 2 pi r times d. And then equals the Q enclosed divided by epsilon naught. And in this case, the enclosed charge equal to zero. Do you agree? Because we see the conductor charge is distributed as a surface. In this case, R is smaller than RB. So inside this uh, Gaussian surface, enclosed charge is zero, so make E equal to zero. The second case you can see is we need to find the electric field is outside the outer cylindric object. So that means we still do a Gaussian surface, look like this one, right? Yes. And then, similar way, we use the electric field times the Gaussian surface, and then enclose the charge over epsilon naught. Now, in this case, enclosed charge is this Q at the inner surface, and the negative Q for the outer surface, right? So the inner surface plus outer surface equals zero. So make the E equal to zero. Thank you.